Together in YouTube land. Um, I am Shay or Red, depending on what time of my life that you met me. And I am your favorite loser. Um, you guys are going to have to excuse the appearance today. I am fresh from the gym. I wanted to make sure that I got this video recorded. Um, so basically, this is about uh, switching it up lifestyle wise. Um, at work, I was really thinking to myself, I hate taking medicine, I hate taking pills, but yet I take Adipex, also known as Phenermin. Um, It gives you a tremendous amount of energy, especially if like, you don't have a tolerance to it, curbs your appetite, burns calories, and that's why I love it. Um, clearly, in my lifestyle, I need a lot of energy. I started taking it in January of last year, and I stopped in February because that's when I found out. I was pregnant with my boo babies, um, like toward the end of February, I believe. Maybe it was early March. Mm, yeah, because I started taking it at the end of January and stopped taking it like right at the beginning of March. Sorry about that. And um, during that time frame, I lost like 17 pounds. I loved it because one... My problem with eating is sometimes I'm too busy throughout the day, so I forget to eat, and it's like 10 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night, and I'm like, oh, crap, I haven't eaten since breakfast. And so I eat, so now I'm going to bed with food on my stomach, or I don't eat at all, and then I wake up the next morning, and I binge on breakfast, which is tad bit okay, because you're going to pretty much burn most of breakfast off during the day, except I sit at a job where I sit at a desk all day, so I'm pretty stationary unless I go work out or until I get home and do a little bit of running around with, with the kids. But at this time, um, I was going to the gym maybe three, four times a week. But anywho, so then when you don't eat, your body goes into, um, for back of a, lack of a better phrase, um, survival mode. When your body goes into survival mode and you don't eat like you're supposed to, your body starts storing the fats when you eat. So therefore, that slows down your metabolism. Your metabolism is not burning. So now you got all this fat building up on you. Here lies a journey like we are at now. You become very big <laughs> if you don't catch it in enough time. But so Adipex kind of worked for me in that sense because I was having issues with that. Or every so often, I might go the whole day without eating and not realize it that it's possible. Um, then when I finally do eat, I just binge out and it's late. And guess where it sits? On your stomach. Your metabolism not doing nothing with it. Your body's not burning it. You're just going to sleep. That's it. So um, I started with Phenermine. Don't get me wrong. Phenermine gives you great results. I've seen great results. I have a family member who took it. She did not exercise not one bit, but she dropped that weight. The only thing is when you come off Phenermine, if you're not disciplined enough to stay um, eating healthy and eating like you're supposed to, then you're going to gain all that weight that you lost on Phenermine, which I've seen a lot of people do because it's easy to eat healthy on Phenermine because you're not really craving sugar. Your appetite is curved, so it's easier to eat healthy. Um, it's I think Phenermine is really good when you're trying to train yourself to eat healthy, figuring out what you like, um, training yourself to meal prep, get in a routine. Once you got it, if you come off of it, you're pretty much in a routine at that point. You just have to control your cravings. And most of the time at that point in the game, you've learned how um, you pretty much learned some food science where you got your fiber intake and all of this to where you can kind of learn which foods curve the appetite, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. I'm like there, but then I'm not. I hate cal counting calories. That's annoying. Looking on the back of a package. How many calories do I have to eat today? Blah, blah, blah. Like it's really annoying when the real rule of thumb is like just work be more active than what you eat, burn more than what you eat. But sometimes it's simpler um, it's more, I'm sorry, complicated than it sounds. Did I say that right? But, um, yeah, I was just trying to figure out what can I do to, um, food wise. Cause you know, food is, you know, you are what you eat, what you put in your body. 
that's where it all starts with. So I was wondering, okay, so what can I do that'll give me energy where I really don't have to take Phenamine because I don't like going to the doctor's appointment because I go to a weight loss doctor for it. That's $100 for the visit. Then you pay for the medication because it's not covered by my insurance. So unless I can find a good deal on GoodRx, it's just a lot. And I wanted something different that I didn't have to depend on phenamine or calorie counting. And if I had to continue doing it, fine, I would have done it. But that's not something that I wanted to do. So what I did was I went searching and I found something called the ketogenic diet. Also just for short keto. And uh, it seemed very... Um, Challenging is what caught my eye because I like a good challenge. Um, and it also seemed very complicated, which made me go, I don't know about all that. But after binge watching all weekend, because today is Monday, so I binge watched from Friday to Sunday. And I was binge watching YouTube videos. I found a wonderful channel I subscribe to called Keto Connect. Um, and then I was reading articles here, there, everywhere. And I realized, okay, this is not really as hard as it seems. And that's why I like Keto Connect because they broke it down in the simplest form. And there were some other YouTube videos they did, but I really connected with Keto Connect. They're so cute. They're a husband and wife duo. Um, so I'm going to start Keto. This is the reason for my lovely impromptu video in the middle of the week because normally my postings will be on Sunday. But with this keto trial situation, I'm going to maybe post a little bit more um, because there are different factors when it comes to keto. And I want to make sure I document and inform all who are maybe thinking about it, um, who are maybe doing it and it may not be going right. Or if you're doing it and it's going great and I'm doing something wrong, you can tell me. Because knowledge speaks and wisdom listens. And I'm all for listening if I'm doing this wrong. So I'm just going to share with you guys some of the things that I've learned thus far. Um, this will not be all in one. Tonight is only just going to be part one uh, of starting my keto journey. And then I'll do a part two um, because there's a, a lot of information, but I'm trying to simplify it. And at the same time, I don't want to like give you guys an hour long video of just talking because I can listen to no one talk for just an hour. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. So let's start with what is keto? Hey, you guys. So we're going to start with what is keto um, or the keto diet or ketogenics. Um, it's a lot of science in this. I'm not scientific. I will try to break this down to the best of my ability to the simplest form. Just straight kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Seriously. Um, so I'm going to be explaining to me, explaining it to you. There might be times that I looked away because I made some notes, um, cause I want to make sure I did not leave anything out and I thoroughly explain, um, the keto diet. So let's begin. So keto is also known for being a low carb diet, but it's not just low carb, it's low carb, high fats. No, you cannot eat a big old bag of laced potato chips and say, oh, I'm on keto. No, it's more so healthy fats, you know, like avocados, salmon, um, coconut oil, you know, things like that, healthy fats. Um, so basically when you look at it from a different aspect, when you're eating like high in carbs, your body produces glucose and insulin. And basically, they convert that into energy. And insulin is produced um, to process the glucose in your, blood spring, uh, your bloodstream by taking it around your body. Now, since the glucose is being used as a primary source of energy, your fat is just being stored. It's just sitting there. Until, you know, you do some exercise, you burn it off, yay. Um, 
basically when you go to a um, lower car a low carb diet and you go to a high fat diet it's gonna push your body into a state called ketosis hence keto when you go into ketosis your body uses your fat as energy and fuel versus the carbs I saw a young lady put in a YouTube video look at when you use carbs and like look at look at your body like a burning furnace and when you introduce carbs to it look at it the carbs like a log and how quickly a log or a piece of wood can be burnt in a furnace right but when you are burning fat look at your fat cells like coal and how coal sustains and it takes a while for you to burn off that coal you get what i'm saying all right so basically in ketosis your body uses fat and if you're trying to lose weight that's good for you because now you're a fat burning machine and your body is just not dying out once it uh quickly depletes those carbs When your body goes into ketosis, it starts uh, producing ketones, which forms due to a breakdown of fats in the liver. When that happens and the ketones in your body are at an optimum level, then you will lose weight. It has um, great physical and mental benefits like mental focus. It helps with cholesterol and um, blood pressure. It helps with energy which you know that's what i need being a mother of four out of that four two are set <laughs> newborn babies um so basically those are just some of the benefits of the um diet itself and i don't really like saying diet because i've seen people who've been on this for years so i want to say a lifestyle change because that's really what i'm focusing on here more so a lifestyle change. So now a question may be lingering. Okay, so if I'm eating high fats, I'm eating low carbs, what do I eat? I do want you to understand that you're not starving your body um, because ketosis is also associated with the state that your body goes into when, um, when you have lack of food for a very long time, when it starts eating are burning off of your fat this is not starvation you know from food it's more so um, depriving yourself of carbs um, with the keto diet you're not gonna eat any grains sugar fruits or tubers such as like potatoes and yams which is really gonna be hard for me because I love hash browns with my breakfast scattered covered and smothered okay don't judge me walk past queen okay <laughs> that's why i'm here okay um but you do eat a lot of meat such as like fish which is easy because i love fish that's why i can never go vegan because i love shrimp too much uh fish beef lamb poultry eggs etc so you get the idea leafy greens um above ground vegetables high fat dairy nuts and seeds avocados and berries i love avocados um, sweeteners, I'm really not big on, but hey, I'll take it. Um, also other fats like coconut oil, high fat salad dressings, and saturated fats. Um, with ketos, okay, so I know you may be thinking, okay, well, if that's the case, if I'm not counting calories, what is the structure around this? Since it doesn't go off calories, it goes off macros. Um, when it comes to your macros, basically you want to eat 70% fats, 25% protein and 5% carbs. Um, depending on what type, because they're different type of keto diet. So depending on, you know, if you're trying to maintain weight or lose weight, um, your micros may or may not change. Um, I do have a keto calculator on my blog. I will put the link in the description box down below so you can go on and look at your macros. Okay, so the next question, well, how do I calculate my macros? Very, very simple, my fitness pal. I did try to go against the grain. I said, okay, I know it has to be a keto specific app out there where I don't have to download my fitness pal. 
which I mean, nothing's wrong with it. I've used it in the past. It's great. I have a profile already, but I just wanted to see because I wanted to be very, very precise. One thing about me, I'm a perfectionist and I like things to be done a certain way. I like no room for error, which in this journey, I'm also losing that mindset because you really lose being productive when you are a perfectionist. You don't gain anything. So I'm trying to lose that. Hence to why I'm comfortable enough to do this with my hair, not all curl correctly, fresh out the gym and everything like that. Because I want to make sure you guys got your video. But anywho, once you enter your meals and everything in my fitness pal, then from there it calculates everything. You put in your food and then you go back to like your main diary, scroll to the bottom, click the button that says nutrients and click where it says macros. Now you can have my fitness pal uh, be macros based instead of calories based like it already is, but you'll have to go to the premium, which means you'll have to pay. So if you don't want to pay, just scroll to the bottom and that's how you do that part. Um, also on my blog, there is a food list that I found. I love Pinterest. It's like my best and worst friend because it gets me in a lot of trouble because I get too many ideas from Pinterest. Um, so basically on Pinterest, I found the ultimate keto grocery list, which I used this past weekend when I went grocery shopping and I found a list that it tells you like, it tells you what not to eat, what you can eat what you can eat very little of, which is really great for me because I was totally blind to keto. So that made it really, really simple. And once you get into it, you'll be kind of surprised um, how everything goes when it comes to keto. Um, in a nutshell, that's the more simpler form of an explanation when you're dealing with keto. I want to make sure I'm not um, skipping anything. I made an outline of what I wanted to discuss. So when you're first getting started with keto, you might be like me and you just binge watch everything. Uh, as time goes by, I'm going to explain everything in a little bit more in depth. If you put questions that you have in the comment section, I will explain. Um, if I see where... It comes across if I'm not explaining it uh, thoroughly enough, then I will do another video and I will go more in depth. Um, one thing you want to know when you're getting started with keto, you want to keep it really simple because it's so easy to get caught up in the wave and just make it way more complicated than it has to be. Um, I've been prepped. I'm starting keto officially tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. Today is Monday. Uh, yesterday and which was Sunday and today. I kind of dabbled in different keto cooking. Breakfast, I'm going to love. I had bacon for the first time, and I don't know how long, because I don't really buy a lot of pork from my house. Um, it's from previous you know, weight loss journeys and just lifestyle changes. So that's going to be kind of new to me because it's high fat. So normally, I buy like ground beef. We may eat that once a month, or if we're out and about, we'll eat ground beef. But I don't typically buy ground beef from my house. I may buy pork chops once a month. That's only because Trey will be like, I'm tired of eating turkey and chicken. We need to switch it up. So I mostly buy like ground chicken, ground turkey, um, chicken breast, chicken, whatever. So when I went shopping for the keto diet, it was really hard for me because I was like, okay, I'm going to have to incorporate a little bit more beef, um, some pork, um, I have a ton of salmon in my freezer, but I'm going to try to go with more um, fresh salmon. And I have flounder in my freezer, which was easy. And I have shrimp because I told you shrimp is my favorite food. On hand, there's always at least three packs of shrimp. Two medium, one large. I'm picky. Um, so that's going to be an adjustment. Yesterday, I was dabbling in breakfast. If you follow me on Snapchat, I posted an omelet I made. It was a bacon cheese and I had like onion and bell peppers in it omelet. Um, and I put spinach in it too, but you couldn't see the spinach, um, which was great because I hadn't had bacon in so long. Also with keto, it is um, preferred that you get grass fed meats, natural meat, no antibiotics. I did to the best of my ability, to the budget that my budget would allow. 
So I will be trying to bargain shop and I'll let you guys know, especially for you guys in our Dallas Fort Worth area. That's where I'm at. So I'll let you guys know when it comes to that. Um, tonight, I, I like to cook. I am a foodie. I will try anything once. So like the beginner keto stuff, I just couldn't get jiggy with that. Like for breakfast, having a, a boiled egg, a piece of avocado and a piece of bacon. No, that's not me. I can cook. I can throw down in the kitchen. So I wanted to learn how to cook real keto meals because things like that, I won't stick to it. Yes, yeah, designed not to make me hungry, but it's boring. Like told you i like to cook i can cook i'm a foodie so now i'm just trying to be a healthy foodie so um trey wanted some pork chops really really bad so i said okay this is my chance so i made a uh, keto fried pork chops with keto fried pork chops the only thing you use or that i used was one egg i used six tablespoons of almond flour which I used it all because it covered the pork chop. One four ounce pork chops, which came out to one serving. And I seasoned it just like I would season a regular pork chop because Trey and the kids had regular fried pork chops. So I cooked two different meals. Right. And oh my gosh, I was, one thing I learned a long time ago, when you're switching from eating unhealthy to healthy, you cannot expect everything to taste like it did when it was unhealthy because there are certain factors that unhealthy food that makes unhealthy food taste good that you're cutting out with healthy food so i learned that a long time ago when i first started in quinoa couscous and just learning just ground turkey ground chicken i've learned certain things um turkey bacon which is big in my house so i've learned it so I wasn't really going into this with the most high expectations. I mean, almond flour. I expected this pork chop to taste like I was eating a bag of mixed nuts with pork chop pieces in it. But I was wrong. It was so good. And Trey has a habit of coming in the kitchen, nibbling off whatever's ready, and walking out. And when he nibbles, he has to take the whole thing because I don't, because if he doesn't wash his hands, because that's just nasty. So he washed his hands. Thank God. Because if he didn't, I would have been so upset because I had already battered the rest for him and the kids. So he washed his hands and I just thought he was going to go toward, you know, the ones that were, I made for him and the kids. But I had mine set to the side on a separate plate. And what does he choose to go toward? Mine. He's talking about, oh, that's good. And I was just like, what? Because he never really likes the healthy alternatives. Like, he gets down with ground turkey and ground chicken. He don't have a choice. But the way I cook it, he can't really tell the difference with the ground turkey. And uh, he was like, that's good. So I said, okay. So when it was time to eat, I cut him off a piece. And I said, taste this. He put it in his mouth. And um, how was that? Go. Mama, what? It's safe to say him like that. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so next time I make something fried with um, and then I fried it in, you know, I battered it with egg and almond flour and I fried it in olive oil. I didn't expect it to taste good because I normally don't care for a lot of stuff cooked in olive oil. I love olive oil. I use it on my hair. I use it on my skin. I do still cook certain things with it. I remember I tried to cook popcorn with it. It was an epic fail. It gave it the most horrible taste in the whole wide world. But this came out so good, y'all. Like, to my country folks, you know what you do when you get to the bone of a pork chop. I never do that, and I did. Now... While I was doing this, I was recording it on my fitness pal. I made the pork chops and I made some asparagus. And I made some cauliflower rice because I wanted to try that as well. But I messed up and I put sesame seed oil in it because in my mind, I was going to make a keto um, sushi bowl for lunch tomorrow. So the cauliflower rice got left out, but I left it in my fitness pal just to see how the macros would go well you guys let me tell you this i don't eat enough fat 
I thought the pork chop was just going to skyrocket the fat and I was doing okay as far as the um, carbs and the protein go. Let me, where's my phone? Let me see. I'm going to tell you guys what it ended up being. And I was like, oh, wow. Um, I'm really going to have to up my ante. And see, the hardest thing with me is I love vegetables. I may not look like it. But I don't eat a lot of meat. Even on holidays, my plate is loaded with okra, um, greens, cabbage, you know, that stuff. So out of that meal, it was 50% carbohydrates, 18% fat, and 32% protein. Based off the previous percentages that I mentioned, this was no bueno. So, um... This week, I'm going, I didn't meal prep because I said I wanted to show you guys as I cook, how I cook it, um, how what I'm eating throughout the day. Um, tonight, I will be posting uh, pictures at the end of the video because my cameraman was busy with the boo babies. So I didn't have a cameraman and I could only do so much with a phone in one hand or a camera in one hand, trying to cook and sustain my two little Power Rangers or whatever they were tonight. I don't know if they were Ninja Turtles. He was a Ninja Turtle. She was April O'Neil. I don't know. They was just some type of ninjas tonight. So there's only so much I can do, but I'll have my cameraman tomorrow. And I'm thinking tomorrow I want salmon. And I don't know what else. I know avocado because I'm going to need a fat. Because clearly I'm having trouble with fat section. <laughs> so I'm um, going to figure, right? So I'm going to do that. If you have any questions thus far, please comment um, and let me know. Um, for the keto calculator, don't forget to go to my blog for the ultimate shopping list, for a food guide, two very great resources I found on Pinterest. Don't forget to go to my blog, tryingtolose.com. Also, visit me on Facebook at Trying to Lose. I'm going to try to start a keto group so we can be there to support each other and just be a community of losers. If you don't know what I mean by a community of losers, also go to my blog and check out the losing mentality because that's what we are promoting here. All losing all the time because the more you lose, the more you gain. Um, so straight losers over here, baby. Um, again, I, oh, I do want to, before I go, I do want to shout out to my coworker. Um, I don't know if she wants me to say her name on here. So I'm going to say Miss S. Um, she is so bomb.com. She subscribed to my channel. She showed her friends and I do highly appreciate it. Also on my blog, I'm going to post, um, one of my coworkers, she distributes, uh, keto products, uh, through it works. Um, it's like keto coffee, which would, it caught my attention because I'm a coffee drinker and it has like keto creamer and things like that. So as time goes on, I'm going to try those, but for right now, I'm just going to try to strictly do keto. Um, just stick to the basics right now, just to get my body into ketosis because you actually have to get your body into ketosis. Um, I have seen so many different time frames of the amount of time that it takes to get your body into ketosis. We'll go over that in the next video. As far as ketosis, we're going to go over getting your body into ketosis. We're going to go into what are the downsides of the keto diet because for every good, there's a bad. Even too much of a good thing can be bad. So we're going to go into the negative effects of what they say are the keto diet. We're going to go into how long does it take to get your body into ketosis, what you need to do to sustain your body in ketosis, and what am I skipping? I think I'm skipping something. Y'all have to forgive me. Like I have very long days. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, and it's going on 11. Let's see here. We're going to go to what happens to your body um, and some side effects because everything has side effects, good, bad, and the ugly. Not like growing left toenail at your right foot. So. <laughs>
<laughs> Did I really just say that? Side effects. So we're going to go on to part two of the keto diet. And if I realized I left anything out, I will address it in the next one. Thank you for being patient with me. Please comment. I want feedback. I, if I miss something, let me know. Again, knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. And I'm all here for listening. Let's just keep it um, respectful in the comments with each other. And let's have fun. And also, shout out to Candy, my hairstylist, who is also my son, Junior's Barber. She's very nice with those clippers, guys. So if you're in the Pleasant Grove area uh, of Buckner and John West, it's called The Barber Shop. And her name is Candy. She's my KKI sister. She is so bomb.com. Don't judge by my hair, but right now, like I just came from the gym, so I've been like laying on it and everything like that. So, shout out to Candy for doing my hair. I literally called her the day before and she got me in. Thank you, Candy. Next video, I'm gonna probably be out to the gym too, but I'm gonna try to make it look a little better. I'm gonna be promoting her work anyway. Thank you guys so much for listening to me talk. And just coming back for those who are returning, this is a new channel. I really appreciate it. And I always want to leave you, and I'm going to start leaving you with like little tidbits. And the most important thing I want you to realize, your health is your wealth. Um, this journey is not about vanity. This journey is about living a healthy lifestyle, um, quality of life. Like I told you, I work in the healthcare industry, the um I work with the senior population, you know, you don't understand the importance of quality of life and staying healthy until you've, you know, had to deal with someone who is going through, you know, like chemo and, you know, different type of things that come naturally with old age, but then different diseases and, um, and body breakdowns that come with not taking care of yourself, you guys. We're not getting any younger. Um, we only get older. With older come as you get older, you're supposed to gain wisdom. So let's gain the wisdom. Um, let's gain enough wisdom to where we're able to use it. You know, you can't use your wisdom if you're not here because you've been stroked out you know, from living an unhealthy lifestyle, you know, let's be fair to our children. Let's be fair to our family and let's be fair to ourselves. Your health is your wealth. You can make all the money in the world, but if you're not here, what is it? It's just money that's, that goes elsewhere for someone else to spend. Nothing you can do with it if you're not here. You know what I mean? So let's just make sure we are taking care of ourselves, taking care of each other. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share if you want. I would really appreciate that. Um, you can follow me on Snapchat. I'm going to be posting my meals on Snapchat throughout the day. Um, I'm also going to be posting just different tidbits of the day. Um, I think you really enjoy it. So follow me on Snapchat at trying to lose. My blog is trying to lose.com on Facebook. I'm trying to lose.com. And of course here, I'm your favorite loser. Thank you so much. And you guys have a blessed night and going tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to listen to me. I hear the boo baby. You hear me talk about don't forget to like my page on Facebook, add me on Snapchat, and visit the blog. And thank you so much because you don't have to, but I appreciate those who do.